what's up? So it is the first day of the Extreme Egg Toss Challenge and I have been traveling and doing a little bit of Christmas shopping. There's been hee hee hee. Um, so I haven't read any of my group read yet, but I am going to start tonight because I'm going to attend the sprints on Carol's channel. Um, and yeah, get a, some reading done. So that's my plan for today. We'll see if I actually read. I don't know. Okay guys, so it is December 19th. I am drinking my cup of coffee and I'm making my way through Get a Life Chloe Brown. I know I was talking about how I would read a little bit yesterday. I got maybe 16 pages in, so all the characters are just being set up currently, but I am going to do some serious reading right now because my boyfriend's going to be doing some video editing, so I have nothing to do but read. Hey guys, so I just want to give you a reading update. I'm in the same exact spot that I was yesterday. Um, so I'm about halfway through Get a Life Chloe Brown and she basically has done like one of the things on her list and she started doing another one. It's getting a little toasty with her love interest and um, yeah, that's where I'm at. So I'm going to continue to read. I have a couple of hours this morning. And I'm hoping I get it done this morning because um, I have so many other books that I need to read before the end of the month. And I am going live tonight with a couple other fun booktubers. And um, I want to read another book while I'm on live with them. So I'm going to try and finish Get a Live Chloe Brown. But we'll see. It's like 10 a.m. right now. We'll see how it goes. I feel like I can do it if I just focus. So we'll see if I can stay focused. <laughs> hey guys, I've got about 70 pages to go in Chloe Brown and... I am so far really enjoying this book. I really love that we are getting the third person point of view from both Chloe and Red. And I just, I really love how it's written. It's a very, it's written very well, very well. Um, I also like that it hits on people living with a disability and how Chloe sees it as normal life because it is normal life for her and how she struggled with it for a while because when she first was diagnosed her friends like didn't understand it and i love how red handles it and i don't know if handles is the right word but i love how red kind of like he knows about it and he knows it's there and he acknowledges it but he doesn't make it a big deal and i think that's all chloe has ever really wanted from a partner or and a friend because she just wants to like live her life and i really love that i really love red He's a sweetie. Anyway, but we're getting to the nitty gritty of, we kind of have gone into like Chloe's background and kind of what she's been struggling with this whole time. And now we're about to go into Red's background. And I am just so excited to see the tea. Like what, what happened to him? Oh, okay. Because he is going to therapy and he's got some things going on with him. So we're almost done. Okay guys, so I finished Get a Life Chloe Brown and I am officially giving it a four stars. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the writing. It was really clever. And I definitely, I didn't think it was too overdone because I feel like in romance novels, you kind of know what's going to happen, you know, and I don't want to give away too much for this vlog, but it was like done just enough. Like it was appropriate. It was the appropriate amount of like heartbreak and like the appropriate amount of like things that happened in the past that were brought up to the current uh, state of events. There was like the proper amount of explicit behavior and um, lovey-dovey things. Like I love, I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. And the only reason I'm not giving it a five is because I felt like there could have been more. I say this all the time about books that I don't give fives to, but like, I feel like there could have been more, but it was nice. It was very nice and well-rounded about their relationship, Red and Chloe. And I definitely recommend if you want a feel good book, if you want something that's just going to make you like, I was smiling and laughing and like having a, a good time with it for sure. And there are some very good moments in it that I want to, when I do a reread, I'm going to annotate it for sure. Cause there are just some like really good quotes in there. Like so good. And I just love like Talia Hibbert. She really like on the back, it says she writes diverse romance 
because she believes that people of marginalized identities need honest and positive representation. And I love that. I love this. Like we, you know, we don't need the cookie cutter stuff. You know, we need to see books like this that normalizes people's different situations and kind of sheds light on other people's issues. Like I love it. So anyway, I really enjoyed it. I liked it a lot. I'm giving it a four. And yeah, that's pretty much gonna wrap up this vlog and also my final DCG read for this DCG marathon. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I had a really great time. I actually want to read the other two books in this series, which is the book about Eve, her sister, and then her other uh, sister, Danny. I have heard that they're not as good as Get Alive, Chloe Brown, but you know, the proof is in the pudding. We'll find out. So I'm excited for that. And I'm glad that I wrapped this up. This is probably, this is probably, mm, was it my favorite book of the readathon? What else did I read? Anyway, actually, I'm gonna go into that in my wrap up video. So let me just zip it and close out this vlog for now. But uh, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, turn on the notification bell and I'll catch you guys later.